Well, there are many, but one of the important messages is that nature um, gets in many parts of Europe less and less space. Nature is in a way under threat, which I find uh, an interesting and worrying observation. Um, but at the same time, uh, one can also ask the question, what nature are we then talking about? Because of different perceptions of nature. And some people might feel that nature is not under threat at all. You see more and more whatever um, uh, blackbirds in a city that weren't there before and so on. So it depends very much on what type of nature you're talking about. But certain types of nature in Europe, certain representations are seriously under threat. And that's a matter of concern. Ultimately, we humans take space and need space to live at the same time, um, nature and natural elements and, and all kinds of creatures need space too. And um, I think that that's a very important challenge for the future, how to combine those spaces. And do we need to separate the space of nature completely from the space of humans in reserves and, and in different localities? Or can we find ways in which with the, two, the two spaces, two living spaces, can be combined in such a way that we both have a sustainable future. When you ask people what their first association with nature is, usually those associations are very, very varied. I do research in this topic with, 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 with uh, all kinds of, of people. And um, I recently worked with a, a lot of Dutch young people. And when you ask them their first association with the word nature, about two thirds said forest. And then a lot of them said green. And then came plants and animals, and then came specific types of landscapes, and they were very different for different people. A lot of Dutch people said mountains. We don't have mountains, but apparently that's nature. And it was very interesting within the group, there were people of different ethnical backgrounds. We had people with a Dutch background, a Turkish background, a Chinese background. And the Turkish people, uh, the people with a Turkish background, a Chinese background, had completely, not always, but had associations that we didn't find with the Dutch. Like, for instance, everything. No one of the Dutch people said nature is everything. Or the earth is also a very, very nice one. Or uh, health was also one that came up with the non-Dutch groups quite a lot. So perceptions of nature vary very much between individuals and cultural contexts.